Hello friends. I wonder if you knew that you could see three suns or moons in the sky at once? It may be hard to believe, but it's true. Nature sure knows how to surprise us. And in today's video, I'll tell you about these and other incredible natural phenomena that are worth seeing, especially if you don't believe in miracles. Many people love rainbows and take pictures of them every chance they get. But few people know about the colorless or white rainbow, which, as the name suggests, has no colors. When we admire a regular rainbow, the sun is located behind us, and in front of us is a layer of water droplets reflecting its light. That's why we usually get to see rainbows during or shortly after the rain. Meanwhile, the white rainbows appear as a bow in fog, which also consists of water. However, the droplets that cause fog are so small in size that they can't refract light as well as the large ones from the rain, resulting in the loss of most colors as the light passes through them. Sometimes the fog rainbow may have very weak red and blue colors, but in most cases, it's completely white. Most of the time, this amazing rare natural phenomenon occurs over swamps, in the mountains, and over the open sea. The lava of all volcanoes is red or orange, but that's not the case for the Ijen volcano, which is located in Indonesia. It is the only volcano in the world that's different. The electric blue lava flowing from the crater of the volcano looks mesmerizing and doesn't only attract the attention of scientists, but of ordinary people as well. The reason behind this phenomenon is sulfur that breaches the surface of the volcano and encounters oxygen. It immediately ignites and part of the sulfur melts due to the extremely high temperatures. It then flows down the volcano while carrying the flames with it, making it appear as if it was blue lava. Sometimes we can see a real halo in the sky. This optical phenomenon is produced by light interacting with ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. It looks like a luminous circle around the sun or moon. Sometimes, the halo can even form around artificial light sources. Some halos look like colored or white stripes. Others look like full circles, and some look like semicircles or arcs. Parhelion And this phenomenon is very rare, and only happens in winter in clear weather when the sun hangs low over the horizon. It is caused by ice crystals floating in the air which refract the sunlight like millions of tiny prisms, resulting in three suns being visible in the sky, the actual sun and two bright spots on each side. I wonder if you were ever so lucky as to see three suns in the sky at once? If so, write about it in the comments. Blood Falls The name of this natural phenomenon speaks for itself. This unusual waterfall is located in the McMurdo Dry Valleys in Antarctica. It was first discovered by the Australian explorer and geographer Griffith Taylor in 1911. The waterfall looks spectacular. It seems as if it was wounded and is literally bleeding out like a living organism. The liquid flowing in the blood falls has a pronounced red color, which can sometimes take on orange hues. But we aren't actually talking about real blood, of course. According to scientists, the red liquid is an iron oxide tainted plume of salt water flowing from the tongue of the Taylor Glacier onto the ice covered surface of West Lake. By the way, this unique waterfall is not only an amazing natural phenomenon, but also a very important object of scientific research. The scientists believe that blood falls proves that life can exist even in the harshest weather conditions. By studying this phenomenon, the scientists can better understand the issues of preserving life in similar conditions on other planets of the solar system, including under the ice caps of Mars. Red Tide Another phenomenon that looks very pretty and a little creepy. It seems that the water is mixed with blood. This unusual phenomenon is caused by various waste, sewage, and chemicals that get into the water. The dirty water leads to an increase in the concentrations of aquatic microorganisms. When these microorganisms absorb a lot of pollutants, they begin to proliferate uncontrollably, becoming thicker and turning the water red. 
hence the red tides. In fact, they only look beautiful in pictures, and the red tide water has a horrible smell. Moreover, these red tides are very dangerous. If a person takes a swim in the red water, they might get poisoned by toxins produced by the microorganisms. Morning Glory Cloud Imagine leaving your house in the morning, looking up at the sky and seeing cloud pipes hanging in the sky, stretching far into the distance. It actually is possible to witness this incredible phenomenon, although only if you live in Australia. This phenomenon is called morning glory. It resembles cloud pipes hanging low above the ground. A morning glory cloud is a roll cloud with a height of 1 to 2 kilometers, located only 100 to 200 meters above the ground. The morning glory is often accompanied by sudden wind squalls, wind shear, and sharp pressure jumps at the surface. In front of the cloud, there is strong vertical motion that transports air up through the cloud and creates the rolling appearance, while the air in the middle and the rear of the cloud becomes turbulent and sinks. This phenomenon can be observed very rarely, from late September to early November, and only in one place, over the Gulf of Carpentaria in the Australian state of Queensland. The phenomenon occurs in the early morning, hence its name. It's interesting that the scientists still can't understand the nature of the morning glory. All they have is several theories. Asperitis There's no need to go to Australia to see these clouds, because they form in other places. The asperitis clouds are formerly known as the undulatus asperatus. They look quite ominous, as if something bad is about to happen. It seems that the heavens are about to be torn to shreds and fire and brimstone will rush from above. In fact, this phenomenon doesn't pose any threat to humans. Despite their eerie appearance, these clouds can hardly even be called real clouds. They dissipate on their own without wind or thunderstorms, and they don't even produce rain. In fact, this is a relatively new cloud type that has been recorded over the past 30 years. Considering that asperitis were discovered not so long ago, scientists still aren't sure about the reasons for their formation. At the moment, there are studies being conducted to collect data on what weather conditions are required for this type of cloud to form. You can see them in the Great Plains regions of the United States, as well as in Europe, Russia, and New Zealand. Monarch Butterfly Migration An amazing natural phenomenon involving live monarch butterflies. These black and orange butterflies begin to migrate southward from North America from August until the first frost. They migrate in large swarms to keep warm. Each swarm has thousands or even tens of thousands of individuals. It's truly spectacular. The beauty of this phenomenon is conveyed even through photographs, but in real life it all looks even more breathtaking. During the migration and wintering, butterflies can cover entire trees, resting before they continue the flight. They continue the migration after the break. By the way, they cover distances of up to 3,200 kilometers for overwintering. No butterfly can survive the entire flight. Therefore, some butterflies begin the migrations, while others, their descendants, finish it. So friends, that's all for today. Let us know in the comments which of these natural phenomena you would most like to see with your own eyes. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.